your first time in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and follow me. In this session, we will study the SSS, SAS, and ASA Triangle Congruence Postulates. In our previous lesson, we learned the congruent or the concept of congruent triangles. Kung hindi nyo pa naaral, I will post the link below inside the description box so that you can understand better our lesson for today. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Let us not make simple things difficult. Ito lang yan. SSS Triangle Postulate. Ibig sabihin, yung tatlong sides nung isang triangle dapat congruent siya sa corresponding sides ng pangalawang triangle. Kung congruent siya, ibig sabihin, the two triangles are congruent. Let us now prove using the SSS Triangle Postulate. Tingnan na natin, ano, napag-aralan na natin sa ating uh, concept of congruent triangles ang paggamit ng tick marks. Mapapansin natin na yung isang triangle sa gawing kaliwa, ang segment EF ay mayroong single tick mark. How about in the other triangle? Alin ang may single tick mark? O ba diba yung FH? Ang ibig sabihin niyan, segment EF corresponds with segment HF. Meaning, segment EF or segment EF is congruent with segment HF. Yan. HF. Ngayon, tingnan natin yung may double tick marks. Ang may double tick marks sa triangle na nasa kaliwa ay segment EG. Sulat natin. Segment EG corresponds with oh, sa gawing kanan. Anong segment ang mayroong double tick marks? O di ba yung segment HG? O therefore, if segment EG corresponds with segment HG, then segment EG and segment HG are congruent. Ayan, dalawang corresponding sides na ang congruent. Alin kaya ang pangatlo? O yung pangatlo, tingnan natin ang segment FG. No? Segment FG. Kung paghihiwalayin nyo o natin ang dalawang triangles na magkadikit, makikita natin yung isang triangle ay may segment FG at yung another triangle, there is another segment FG. Kung paghihiwalayin. Kung paghihiwalayin natin, segment FG corresponds with segment FG in another triangle. Therefore, they are congruent. Now, the three sides of this triangle congruent with the corresponding three sides of the other triangle. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent. Triangle triangle F G E and triangle F G H are congruent using the SSS triangle postulate. Ibig sabihin again, yung tatlong sides ng isang triangle, yung nasa gawing kaliwa ay congruent sa corresponding sides ng tatlong sides ng triangle na nasa gawing kanan. And this is what we call the SSS or side 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 triangle congruence postulate. Let us move on with the next one. The so-called SAS triangle congruence postulate. SAS congruence means that the two sides and the included angle of one triangle should be congruent 
to the corresponding two sides and the included angle of another triangle. Yun ngayon ang hahanapin natin para masabi natin that the two triangles are congruent by, by SAS triangle congruence postulate. Yan. Ang ibig na sabihin, ang SAS two sides and the included angle of a triangle are congruent to the corresponding two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Uh, below are triangles A, B, C and triangle X, Y, Z. Ngayon, hahanapin natin yung two sides and included angle nitong dalawang triangles. O dito muna tayo sa triangle na nasa gawing kaliwa. Tingnan nyo yung may single tick mark. This is segment AB. Ayun siya, ano? Segment AB. Congruent siya sa segment XY. Kasi ito rin yung may single tick mark. Ibig sabihin, segment AB corresponds with segment XY. They are congruent. O isang side na yun, ano? Isang pares. Tingnan natin yung pangalawang pares na side. Segment BC. Yan, ano? Segment BC is congruent with what segment in another triangle? It is segment YZ. No? Kasi, tingnan nyo, BC has two or double tick marks and segment YZ has also double tick marks. Meaning, seg segment BC corresponds with segment YZ, then they are congruent. So, dalawang sides na. AB, XY, BC, YC, dalawang sides na ang congruent. Ayun, SAS, dalawang sides. At yung nasa gitna is the included angle. Ano yung tinatawag na included angle? Nasaan yung included angle? Yun kaya ay angle A, B, or C. Tingnan natin. Ang pinag-uusapan natin ay segment AB and segment BC. If these two sides are given, then the included angle is angle B. The other triangle, let us study the other triangle. The given sides are XY and YZ. The included angle is angle Y. Now, Congruent na yung dalawang corresponding sides. Let us take a look with the included angles of the two triangles. The included angle of this triangle is angle B. And the included angle of this triangle is angle Y. Angle B is congruent with angle Y. Therefore, if... The two sides of this triangle is congruent to the corresponding two sides of this other triangle and their included angles are congruent. Therefore, triangle ABC, triangle ABC is congruent with triangle XY with triangle XYZ by SAS Triangle Congruence Postulate And finally, the ASA Triangle Congruence Postulate Ang ibig sabihin nito, the two angles and the included side of one triangle should be congruent to the two angles and the included side of the other triangle no? Dapat congruent yung kanyang corresponding angles and corresponding side. O, tingnan muna natin yung mga given angles and the included side in this triangle. Let us name this triangle 1 and this one is triangle 2. In triangle 1, the given angles are angle M and angle N. If angle M and angle N are the given angles, their included side is segment MN. Sulat natin dito, the included side is segment MN. Uh, dito tayo sa triangle 2. 
the given angles are angle P and angle Q. And their included side is segment PQ. Tingnan na natin ngayon ang corresponding angles and corresponding side. Uh, sa angle M tayo, angle M corresponds with angle P. Kasi ang palatandaan natin ay single arc. Therefore, angle M is congruent with angle P. O yung susunod, yung may double arcs. Angle N has double arcs. Angle Q has also double arcs. Meaning, they correspond with each other. And they are now congruent. Angle N is congruent with angle Q. Now, their correct order included side. The included side in triangle 1 is segment MN and the included side in triangle 2 is side PQ. They have both single tick marks. Meaning, if they correspond, they are also congruent. Now, the two triangles or the two angles of these triangles and their included angles are congruent. Therefore, triangle, triangle MNO, MNO is congruent with triangle PQR. Then, the two triangles are congruent by ASA Triangle Congruence Postulate. Ayan. Siguro ngayon, kaya maliwanag na kung anong ibig sabihin ng SSS.